Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. Today's video, we're going to be replacing our canopy tarp on our Shelter Logic, uh, the 20 by 12 by 8. We're gonna we're going with the highest grade that they have. It's like a 21.5 polyethane something or another. I'll give you a complete description in the comments below. But we're gonna replace it because we're starting to see a little bit of wear from the Arizona sun. We get 115 degrees for weeks at a time. So we're starting to see a little bit of wear on this and I don't think that this is going to be sufficient to uh, last for a while. So we're gonna go with the upgraded tarp that we were able to get from Shelter Logic. This tarp is about four or five times as thicker. We're gonna show it to you in a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and get it installed. We've already removed the old tarp so that's taken down. So now we have to go through the process of removing the side arches, putting on the new side walls, and then throwing the main tarp over the top and then fastening everything down. Should take us a couple hours, but we'll be able to get it done, of course. We're gonna skip most of the instructions on the video as far as how to put it on since we've already done a video on how to put on a, put a shelter logic together. But what we're gonna be looking at is how much thicker this tarp is and how much better it's gonna be. We also went with a white tarp so that it doesn't attract as much heat. Because one thing I noticed when I was inside pulling out the tractor in the middle of the summer, so it got very hot in there. So we want to get, the, the other tarp was a green, this is a white. So if you live in Arizona, you, you notice the difference between things that are white and things that are, are black. There's an extreme difference in heat. So that's why we went with the white. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tarp and we're gonna see the difference just in the thickness of the tarp. Okay, so these come in three different uh, flavors of thickness and material. Uh, it's two different materials, uh, three different sizes. So this is a 6.5 polyethylene, and it, it's thin. Um, it, I, I thought it was adequate, uh, but it, it wasn't quite for this heat. It was starting to crack. Uh, so I definitely recommend the upgrade. The next level up is a 14.5 uh, polyvinyl. Uh, we didn't get that one. We went straight to the uh, top, which is a 21.5 uh, polyvinyl, which is right over here. And when you lift it up, you could you can see how this flaps. So this barely moves. It, it's definitely a, definitely thicker. Those measurements of the ounces, I'm not really sure what they are, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if it's a measurement of the weight per square foot or or what it is, but it's bigger. And bigger is always better. Always go with bigger. These two next to each other so you can see the difference. This, you can see how it kind of flaps. This doesn't, this is a lot, a lot sturdier, a lot sturdier material. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put on this, the side parts first. We'll probably give you a little shot of that. And then we'll throw over the main tarp. You have to put all of the, uh, the pipes through all the different uh, slide areas to get everything together. So we have to do a little bit of disassemble. I don't think that this is going to be too bad of an install. Uh, getting the first part up was obviously going to be more difficult. There was more work, but this should go up uh, fairly quickly. Uh, the kit itself, it comes with two sides like this, and then the main tarp and a couple extra pieces uh, for, for whatever assembly you need. I haven't quite gone through it yet, but we're going to start putting that up right now. All right, so we've got both sides up. I haven't put the poles in on the bottom yet and I haven't hooked up the, uh, the strings to raise it up and down because you really need to have the tarp up first, the main tarp. So we've got the side up. As you can see, it's got the zippers in the front. Um, to open and close, a little odd because it's... Uh... Okay, we haven't even opened them up yet. But nice white. Uh, we've got, we got the poles down there that we still need to put through, but it's nice and snug. And we walk around to the back. You'll notice this side doesn't have a door. Uh, the previous tarp, the cheaper one, 
did have, uh, both were doors, so you could actually open it up on either side and access whatever you've got in there. This one, solid. So, so a little bit different, but uh, it will work. We don't really, in our situation, we don't need to open it from both sides. So it would be nice because we usually have a, some equipment right at the back. But this is it. We're going to get ready to throw the tarp over, which is going to be difficult because it's heavy. But uh, I'm strong, really strong. And so is my assistant holding the camera. So we're going to get that back on the tripod and throw this over. And then we've got to fasten all these uh, poles to it. That's our next step. Okay, so we got the tarp over. You saw how we did it. Probably not uh, shelter logically approved. Probably needed more people, but we were able to get it. We used the, the rope that we had that came with the other door that we're no longer using. We cut that, put it through two of the, two of the pockets where the pipes go, and Riley went ahead and lifted it over each section while I'm keeping tension on it so it wouldn't fall back down. So we were able to get it over. Probably took us about 10, 15 minutes. We probably looked kind of silly. But at this point, all we need to do is go in and put the lower pipes through the pockets. You need to unscrew them, slip the pipe through, screw them back on. Probably not gonna show you that, it's gonna be a little dark in there. That's what we're gonna go do right now, and then we'll have this complete in probably about 15, 20 minutes. Just wanna make a uh, mention of a funny thing that happened. These are the ratcheting straps. They go on each corner of the, of the big tarp uh, to hold it down, uh, give it tension around the arch to seal it up. Uh, when we put this up for the first time in the summer, we left these out in the sun while we were working. And we actually had to put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to cool them off because they were actually too hot to touch. So make sure you don't leave them out in the sun. It will burn you. Okay, so we have everything assembled. Uh, we've decided on the front door, we're not gonna go with the existing pull string that came with the original. Uh, we're gonna go with just rolling it up and using a ball bungee cord. Uh, we find that that's probably gonna be easier in, in cutting into the fabric. I just don't like that idea. But as far as this, the 21.5 ounce the vinyl, it's, it's two thumbs up. This is a much stronger material. I like it a whole much better and I really feel like it's going to last a lot longer. Going with the white color is also going to decrease the heat. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you is that if you do want something like this, uh, I, I didn't see it in too many stores and it, this is an upgrade. So the best way to, to get it is you actually order it directly from Shelter Logic, and they actually custom make it because they don't keep things like this in stock. So when I called and I ordered it, they told me it was going to take about a week to make and then they'll ship it out to me. The box itself was 100 and I think six pounds or 108 pounds. It was heavy. There's a lot of material in here. Just for this fabric that you see on this thing, it was 108 pounds. So it, you know it's thick, you know it's heavy. So order it from them, they'll custom make it. And another thing is, you know when it's being custom made, it hasn't been sitting on a shelf for two years because some of these things are, are kind of expensive. They could sit around for a while. So if it's custom made, you know it's brand new and it was just made. I'm gonna give this my two thumbs up. And if you wanna get this, go to the Shelter Logic page. Um, I'll also try and leave some links in the, in the description below of, of the video. So you, maybe you can also see it on Amazon, see other, other options that you might have for the Shelter Logic products. But this is the 21.5 ounce poly vinyl cover upgrade. And we like it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll have more videos like this coming in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.